I'd like to show you a solution that I came up with to customize a new tractor I bought to help me move cut tree logs, branches, and brush on my small New England farm. In one area we have four acres of mixed woods which had been basically abandoned for several decades before we moved here four years ago. Over the years many white pine trees had sprouted up and some grew to be as tall as 60 to 70 feet. They also were growing close together and crowding out the more desirable hardwoods like the apple trees, birches, and oaks. It was so overgrown in the woods that it was hard to walk through at all. After cutting down and bucking up many of the pines by hand with chainsaws and removing some unwanted shrubs and invasive plants, this took quite a while. I needed a way to gather up all the brush to move it to an out of the way corner of the woods where it could decompose over time or to make burn piles out in our hay fields. I took my sweet time shopping around and comparing compact tractors. Ultimately, Due to a 0% financing offer in late 2019, we decided to buy a new 24 horsepower Yanmar 424 diesel and a WorkSaver 4 foot tine grapple mounted to the front end loader where the bucket usually lives. This Yanmar loader leads its class in lifting capacity at about 1200 pounds. I asked my dealer to add a third function hydraulics unit to the loader's controller in order to work the grapple. When I received it, about a month later, I got to work in the woods. With this tractor and grapple, I'm able to lift and transport big logs, sometimes almost two feet thick and say five feet wide, as well as big piles of cut log lengths and bunches of branches and debris. By removing many of the pines, I really have opened up the woods and made a park-like environment in there. Now there are winding footpaths and the remaining trees and shrubs in the woods can thrive because they get more sunlight and breathing room. The tractors worked out well and saved me much hard labor. I serviced the tractor myself, which tends to be fairly easy. I just completed the 250 hour scheduled service. In the 15 months I've used it, I've needed to replace two of the hydraulic quick couplers located below the HST pedals and replace a worn o-ring on a backhoe hose. Of course, it also can take some time getting the hang of switching between attachments like the bucket or the grapple on the front, or between the backhoe and a five foot brush mower that I also bought, which mount at the rear. But it does get easier over time. Of course, I've also used the tractor for other things besides hauling brush and mowing fields, such as trenching with the backhoe and moving heavy rocks around for landscaping projects. Thanks for watching and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.